Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. No denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing to him. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Razor. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch them up, and we are underway. There, huge block for him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. <laughs> Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Slams the right hand. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, 
Oh, huge block. <laughs> Missed with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, that's a nice strike. Right on the button. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. I need more. Nice body kick. Nice kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. get back to range. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll some, he'll change his stance. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Seconds to go in the round. Oh. Round two is next. Oh. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Now connects with a right. Big punch land. Ooh. Able to check the high kick. Big head kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopped up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Let those hands go. Three minutes. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He loaded up there on that high kick. Down there, how good is his takedown defense? It's such a fast leg kick. <gasps> he gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Cut him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice kick. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Good punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Missed with that attempt. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Watch the punch. Huh? All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, big head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. How about those five minutes? That horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good punch lands. One, two there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Liver kick. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive... Oh, he's the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. with the right hand. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside, because otherwise, you're gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Got the single collar tie. He lands a switch knee. Punch. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big knee there to the chest. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice shot. Big leg kick land. Blocks the shot. Big head kick land. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Punch over the top. Hip over when he throws that kick. Throws the right hand there. It's very tricky to throw that body. Kick. 20 seconds left. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was high, and now he's got hurt bad. 
What a round. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both of them certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Huge block there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Lee gets caught with that punch. The right hand just misses. Right hook to the head block. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking tonight. He got it done with his strike. He talked well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' minds. Nice punch here. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Big kick lands. Three minutes remain in the round. Hands high, hands high. This fight's gonna be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, straight right. Oh, just misses with the kick. Trying to double up on that jab. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Big kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Out of range with that kick attempt. Need the body there by Lee. Out of range with that one. Head kick. Beautiful punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Give me some head movement. Give me some head movement now. Beautiful kick. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me. Not there. Nice, sneaky head kick. 
20 seconds now remain in the rack. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Final seconds of round four. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready underway. Back. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Yeah. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore off the defense. Real quick leg kick. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Hey. Can't take many of those, you better check. And just misses with that big right hand. shot there. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, big left. Nice. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. High crush, baby. High crush. Give him a high crush. He blocks the shot. Just misses with the jab. Nice counter with the hook shot there by Lee. All right, getting late in the fight. It has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. Both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Beautiful combination there. Beautiful strike. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, perfect head kick there. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Nice head kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. You don't know when that leg kick is coming. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Shot. What a body kick. One minute to go in the fight. 
Yes. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Big roundhouse now just misses. Big kick. Combination landed by Lee. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Beautiful watch. Right. 20 seconds left. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. So a close fight goes the distance here tonight, DC. I know you're not a judge, but any lean to one fighter or the other? I mean, when I watch the fight, I believe that he did enough. But when these fights are this close, it's razor, razor thin. You don't know what the judges are seeing. I think he did enough. I think it was the striking advantage that he showed that should get him the victory. But we shall see. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge 1 scores this contest, 49-46, Razor. Judge 2 scores it, 48-47, Lee. And Judge 3 scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, Razor. Wow, so there he is, your winner by the narrowest of margins. Only three scorecards in the world matter. Two of them thought he would. I mean, you could tell that he wasn't sure he had got enough done to win the fight. He gets the decision. It was a very close fight and it's well earned.